Sony Nim Sony. Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in the streaming studio, but uh, this is not what the video is about. Um, uh, today's video is actually about Tubby uh, Supercat. Okay, that voice was just totally messed up. Let me do that again. Let me do that again. Tubby um, <clears throat> Supercat. <laughs> A little bit extra there, <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. We've got a tubby, uh, tubby video today. Um, let's uh, let's get over to the the scene that we can have a look at things. So here we are. Um, we shall get ready over here, and there we go. Brilliant. Uh, so here we are in Tubby Super Cat. Um, you'll have to apologize. Uh, you'll have to uh, ignore the fact that my hands are going to be a little bit out in and in the open there. Uh, but here we go. I'm just playing with the keyboard right now um, because I'm lazy and I haven't plugged in the gamepad. Um, but there we go. So I've done some upgrades to Tubby Supercat. Um, that's why today's video uh, pretty important. I've uh, I've been meaning to get back into into some Tubby Tubby uh, controls and stuff. I've been seeing a few platformers. Some were suggested to me as well um, to look at. So I decided. Well, one was posted on a Discord server, and I kind of got got back into platforming a little bit. So over the past week, that's what I could, that's what I was working on. Um, now I've actually rewritten everything, as I mentioned for the previous video um, on Tubby, where I was talking a little bit about fixed update, and that's exactly what's going on here. This is the same system that could be recorded, and you can see here I've swapped out the objects that they were before. Um, you'll see that he's got new camera control. Um, let's just get over get over here and, and look at the camera control first uh, now if you remember the video where I talked about um, how Mario Odyssey does its camera control in fact we'll turn the camera here so we can see to be in nice lighting there we go um, and um, what I was talking about is how it tries very hard to limit the way the, the, the camera the camera moves around when when the character is rotating so here we go we've got Tubby and you can see that he's able to just sort of just sort of turn around and, and that's about it right so there's there's no movement on the camera at all but you can see he's staying in the center so if you if I place my mouse here I hope you can see the mouse you can see Toby stays in the center of the screen as I turn obviously the camera stays in the same place now this is exactly what I mentioned in my how it works video on um, on Super Mario Odyssey and Mario 64 and stuff with Mario 64, wherever you turn, the camera actually moves out and, and sits in front of you. But with Mario Odyssey, they upgraded it a little bit, and it only does that when you move, allowing you to completely have a look around the character like that. Um, but you can see here, if I start moving, the camera slides out, and now it's actually in front of the cat. Um, so there we go. Really, really cool. Um, some some nice stuff going on and and that's about it really I was just sort of working on the camera in itself uh, so that that's it in relation to the camera anyway um, and it's, it's it's a very very simple thing I only did that today actually and just gave it a little bit of control as well and we can move the mouse off the screen now um, so give it a little bit control as well to rotate around the tubby uh, so there we go and you can see he does have his leans uh, you'll have to ignore the clickety clackety of the keyboard like I said I'm not playing with the gamepad uh, now another thing you'll notice immediately is the is the tubby tail um, his tail is a little bit different to how it was before so it's not just completely dangling anymore it's actually a full physics tail but it is driven as well so tubby's actually swinging it around so if I stand forward there you can see tubby's actually swinging his tail a little bit and it just does that wherever he's going so it's full physics it uh, wibbles and wobbles all over the place and it looks really cool but he still has complete control I'm gonna make it a little bit stiffer than that later on I think it's a little bit too loose and it kind of swings through his body as well maybe I'll work a little bit on collisions as well uh, but for now I've been mainly working on the basic mechanics of the Tubby Supercat including jumping and sliding uh, on these surfaces like this so there we go sliding Yep, so basic basic usual uh, usual functions and of course running on diagonal platforms as well so it all works really well um, but there's actually more to it the first thing I wanted to do with this new upgrade is to is to drive the where's the camera right now let me just switch over to the other ah it's over you're over there right brilliant um, <laughs> so the first thing I wanted to do uh, while I was working on this project is I wanted it to always have that quality standard 
or at least somewhat uh, quality standard that I want to achieve in the end. So that means I've been working heavily on getting all of the animations to fit together really, really nicely. Now in the previous video when I was talking about the fixed update, you can see that, that I had this sort of flickety flickety movement. But in fact, there's actually more going on here. So I'm actually going to pause the game here and just rotate him into some light. There we go. Um, yeah, about there. And you can see here, he just opened his eyes quite wide. We'll switch off the gizmos. We can see Tubby's got a much newer model now. So here we go. He's got his new character model. Beautiful. <laughs> he's very smooth. He's much more rounded on the corners and stuff. It all looks really, really nice. He's got his flicky ears. You can see they're flicking right now. And uh, he's got his eyes. His eyelids are, are blinking as well. You can see his mitts now. A little bit of closing on the mitts there. Much more, much more fluffy, much, much nicer looking and much smoother looking as well. If we switch on the shaded wireframe, you can see he's a very high poly, um, at least good enough for the game to look great. Um, it does, of course, not have a low LOD quality though, unfortunately. So he's very, very high quality at all times, which is okay for the main character anyway. For other objects, I'll probably make a second slow, uh, lower quality um, LOD. But for Tubby, this is all fine. Um, now, what I did as well is I added the transition animations that I have, uh, that I've been working on in the Mario project in the, in, in the past, which I showed a long while ago. And you can see here immediately that I've gone straight for getting super high quality or at least high quality um, movements and transition animations as well. So there we go. I've immediately got it in, it, got it in already um, rather than doing this later on. So each state that I'm adding to Tubby, he's got his uh, sort of blends set up nice and nice and well. And then maybe I can finish and polish off those animations later on. So here, if I press the slow-mo button, you can see very, very clearly, he's got nice in intro animations to each of his states. A little bit of squish there. You can see on him when he, when he jumps there, you can see he's got a, a nice pull into that animation and then a squish there as he lands. And of course, he doesn't do that when he's running. So... He just sort of lands with a little bit of a squish as he's running. Really, really nice. So here we go. I'll show you one more time. And squish. And he just carries on running. So there we go. Very, very nice. Um, he doesn't have his uh, sort of skid backwards animation yet. So when he slows down here, he doesn't have a turn and slow down animation yet. Um, still working on the mechanics there. Um, but the jump, as you can see, super duper smooth. Very, very silky, silky smooth there. Um, but... There is more to it. We also have a crouch. So for the five, for the first time ever, we're gonna actually see Tubby Cat acting like a, a real cat and not standing on his two feet. So there we go. We've got to switch into in a, into a cat animation. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, he's got a nice crouch animation. He looks like an actual cat for once. There we go. Little Tubby Cat crawling around. Um, he does have a crawl animation, but what you can see here immediately is that he has actually got transition animations in and out of the crouch. So here we go. I'm going to go in slow motion. So there we go. Whoop. And then whoop. He's got, <laughs> he's got transition animations in and out of the crouch. So there we go. Very, very neat. And then he's got an actual crawl animation where he's actually just sort of crawling around. Really, really wonderful. Um, he does crawl up surfaces and stuff as well. He looks really, really nice. It's very, very cute. And he, he actually does some changes as well to his to his tail animation system. So here you can see, if I stand by itself, you can see Tubby's tail is sort of flicking just a little bit low. It's, it's just sort of a low tail. There we go, low hanging tail. <laughs> uh, there we go, he's just flicking it around. He does whatever he wants to. It's, there's a bunch of math, uh, random math animations going on. I love doing that. I've been doing that since the very beginning of this channel. Um, but when we when we go into a crouch, you can see here, he actually applies a different direction, a target direction for his tail. So it actually lifts up and he's starting to keep it upwards now as he as he crawls around. So there we go. It's, it's actually an upwards tail. And of course, if I rotate, it swings around. Like I said, it's a little bit loose. Uh, but you can see he tries, tries to lift it up again. So there we go. And then once I stand up, he's going he's going down again. So I've got a little animated value for that, 
which allows me to actually change the way he lifts his tail. Now you can see there's still missing animations on some of the basic stuff, but overall I've already got 23 animations running on him right now um, with just the very small move set that I've been working on. So I haven't got any sort of pound the ground moves or anything like that. It's just crouch, crawl and jump and of course the usual move around. But another thing that's going on here is when I mention the slide, you can see this is the regular slide, right? That's all very good. In fact, he's, he, doesn't, he doesn't get up yet, so there we go, he just sort of sits on the ground. Nice, right? But there's more to it than that. There's also an actual animation transition going on for that as well. Like I said, I wanted transitions for every single bit of this. So let's slow down, slow down the game and we'll be able to see that Tubby has got a whoop. There, did you see him fall into it? He falls into his slide animation. And then of course, there we go. And he's got a landing animation there with his tail going right through his body, um, which is why I need to add some collision to that as well. But what's really cool, I, I really wish I had added the gamepad. I have got a gamepad right behind me in this scene and I didn't add the gamepad for me when I'm when I'm playing. Uh, I'm gonna add that state for the next, uh, next video where I'm working on this. But what I wanted to mention is the idea of um, of animation uh, variants, right? So this is one of the things that Mario Odyssey does really, really well. Again, I, I'm going to use Mario as a as a good example for almost everything I do when it comes to platforming because it it, it just is the best example that you can that I can give right now. Um, all other games, even those sort of Spyro and Crash Bandicoot remakes that happened a couple of years ago or a few years ago. Um, those still had the very sort of basic style mechanics of the original games and didn't go full full whack on the on the extremes in in terms of animation quality. So um, the idea of variant animations. Now, right now, Tubby only has a single version of all of his main animations, but he has got a very slight variant for sliding. So here we go. We'll immediately see it. <laughs> he falls down and he sort of slips backwards when he's uh, when he's there. We go. Look at him. I'm going in slow motion but yeah you can see it just sort of has a, a sort of fall back animation on him there we go Whee! and he can he can rotate if I if I push it so there we go he's got a he's got a variant animation on on him falling backwards as well Look, and then he just falls <laughs> and of course I can slide him around here if I want to as well so there we go he's got a variant animation on there it's really really nice um, when I've got variant on on everything it's it's gonna look really really cool so here we can test it properly we've got a variant animation there and then he just goes back to normal when he's sliding forward we <laughs> you can see it's just sort of flip into it right so here we go if I if I just if I just slow more this you can see he tries he tries he tries and whoop falls back and then he's just sliding backwards and you can see he's leaning back a little bit more and then obviously he sits down and I have to jump out of it for now and of course he, he sort of goes into it for now when you crawl as well he just sort of and when you land whoop, he just sort of falls back he's got a very fall back look on him um, now sliding does work wherever you're wherever you are so you can you can sort of slide on on regular ground as well so there we go Whee! and then you can slide and, and you can you have control over it and uh, there is something more which needs a little bit of tweaking as well is once you've sort of once you're going backwards and you jump Tubby has got a lot of sort of sliding back when he's uh, when he's moving backwards but uh, I need to work on that I'll, I'll get that sorted for later on um, so I'm going to add a little bit more friction on on his sort of movement backwards whereas um, sort of a regular uh, platformer doesn't really have that slide back that's it's, it's a little bit more like Mario 64 if you remember how Mario 64 works when you slide back um, you kind of have this sort of control and Mario kind of just sort of slides around and goes around in circles um, which is really cool but I don't want it to be so out of control so I want him to give him uh, give him a little bit more control than that um, but there you go that's that's the major parts of, of Tubby Supercat so far and you can see I've, I've tried very hard to get some quality control going before I begin sort of fleshing out the game and and this has only taken really a week since the last uh, sort of fixed update video that I did so really, really cool stuff going on there. And you can see I do have a second camera as well. 
He doesn't even have a falling off animation yet, so he just sort of uh, stumbles down. So there we go. Here, you can see he just stumbles down, he just carries on running. He uses his run animation. And uh, yeah, he's also sort of attaching to the ground sometimes when you walk off the edge. That's because right now I'm just, I'm just using the mesh colliders for these shapes here, which of course have curved corners. So Tubby sort of follows the corner down and slips down. And that's actually what's going on here. You'll notice that as I run up here, I'm going to keep right pre or left pressed, and you can see he doesn't get much height out of that, right? So he can only run just up to a little bit there. However, when he's running up this curve, you can see he can run a lot more. So he can he gets a lot more height and a lot more sort of surface rush, rushing on, on the platform as well. So there we go. And that's because he gets a little bit more um, height off the fact that the, the ground is smoothly changing into that, um, into that slope rather than earlier on where he's immediately changing and he actually loses a little bit of velocity there because I'm rotating the velocity along the surface which is what allows him to stick to the surface nicely and it, it sort of keeps the, the control of velocity correct. So while he's running on, on these surfaces you can see he's got a little bit of sideways slip and yeah a little bit of sideways slip but uh, not too bad there not too bad at all there we go he still hasn't got any of those special sort of jumps or anything it's literally just the one jump right now but you can see it all feels really really good right now um no no wall jumps or anything like that he just landed on the edge of this um but yeah so this is actually a voxel block here i'm, I'm working on some voxelizing of my uh, land masses which is why they look nice and nice and neat and easy to fit together uh, there's actually just pieces for each corner and for each edge which is what you can see here in the light map a little bit here um, so I'm working on voxelizing it so that I can actually build my levels a little bit easier and of course use different pieces and different blocks like this which are actually smoothed out so here we go I've actually smoothed out the steps although I can easily have to be run on these steps like sort of one piece at a time uh, but I'd rather just have them slope and smooth for now. Now you can see Tubby doesn't have a slide when he's crouching, not yet. He will be sliding and he will have some additional moves as well um, for, for forward sliding. He's not going to have on the belly sliding like Mario would. Um, he will have some form of dive as Tubby does. He, he has it in his long jump which I haven't written yet but um, Tubby does have that sort of long jump uh, dive where he turns into a sort of ball and bounces off and then lands. I'm going to do something similar to that but it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have some cool things going on with Tubby uh, very soon. So uh, that's that anyways. Um, hopefully there's um, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to do some cool cool stuff very very soon um, with with Tubby Supercat. Um, uh, but uh, there we go. Uh, that's, that's, the, <laughs> that's the basics of Tubby Supercat so far. Um, Tubby, you're gonna have to say bye to Tubby. Um, he's, I need to swap him out. I need to swap him out for the new model over here. Is actually a, a better model than than the current Tubby in the streaming setup. And that's because I did some animations, and the animations don't fit on the new rig. This is a, an upgraded rig. So there we go. Um, let's uh, switch that back to here, and uh, end this video. Really, I hope you've uh, sort of enjoyed the the changes that I've made. To Tubby Supercat so far, um, we'll 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 be seeing what we get when uh, when Tubby over here um, is is upgraded and has some more stuff going on and some more animations, some more of everything really, and some more cool moves. I want to show off some uh, a lot more moves, but for now, focus is going to be on Project EX. Now, the the reason I wanted to do a bit of Tubby work is because you know I get a little bit tired when it works when I'm working on VR at all times you have to bear in mind my job is also VR centric so I work a lot on VR and I want to get these things uh, just sort of done and, and I want to prepare for what I like to do as well make sure that I don't get put off my projects it's one of the most important things that I do with my work is that I never get put off my own projects otherwise they'll just never get finished so it's actually better that I do things this way uh, you'll have to ignore the the time on the clock that is correct once again but um, today's video was just a, a nice quick and easy one to do that's why I use this setup as, as usual and just sort of get it get it done and, and show show what I've got 
on Tuppy Super Pet so far. So thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Hopefully that will be Project TX and it'll be by the end of this week. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.